Our other top story at 530, Michigan's U.S. Senators are headed home for the holidays. That's right. It is a short break amid an intense battle over President Trump's impeachment. Rob Maloney reached out to both Gary Peters and Debbie Stabenow to get their thoughts on what's ahead in the new year. Came as a bit of a surprise. Congress went home for the holidays without knowing for certain whether a Senate impeachment trial is in the offing. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi decided not to send the House's findings to the Senate, looking to get more clarity from Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell how he's going to handle the case. Senator Gary Peters came home expecting to return to a trial at some point, and he expects to take the separate oath that all senators will take in the impeachment trial. Part of that oath is that we will be fair and unbiased uh, uh, in, our, in the proceedings, and we basically get into the role of, of a juror, just as jurors mm -hmm. would do that. Mm -hmm. The rules are different in an impeachment as well. The rules are determined for that particular activity, which is to have a trial related to, to the articles. Those articles are abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell on the Senate floor had much to say about the impeachment, summing up the House's partisan vote as shoddy work product. He also stated that he's not averse to simply listening to the opening statements and then holding a vote that would end the case right there, much like a directed verdict if he can get the 51 votes. Senator Peters does not think that is a good idea. I would hope we'd have a we'd have a, a fuller uh, review of uh, the facts and, and have an opportunity to, to hear from some witnesses just like the prior two impeachments had witnesses. Uh, folks should not be, uh, uh, should not be uh, unwilling to have witnesses come forward to talk about issues related to the facts of the case specifically. Now, we did reach out to Senator Debbie Stabenow's staff, didn't hear back from them today. In the meantime, the president's attorneys are looking to make an interesting argument. Because the uh, articles have not been sent to the Senate, they would like to argue that the impeachment didn't happen because the process hasn't been completed. We'll see where that goes. In the meantime, the president uh, is uh, saying that the fact that the articles weren't sent to the Senate is a clear indication that Nancy Pelosi doesn't really believe in her case. Back to you. Hmm. So, Rod, do we know about the reasons for the delay? Well, what, what we're hearing out of Washington is that when the House goes to make its case in the Senate, they need a number of people to actually do it. In other words, they, they become prosecutors and they need to make that case. And Nancy Pelosi is saying she needs to know the number of those people that she needs to send over there. And so far, they don't have an agreement on that. Hmm. All right. Thank you very much, Rod.